okay so our lab setup is ready so this is our lab topology let's start to configure these devices one by one in this video we will configure server 1 server 2 dmz switch pc1 pc2 pc3 attacker pc and active directory in the next video we will start from hq firewall to configure now the ip schema we already know these detail LAN subnet is 10.0.1 and the gateway for LAN subnet will be 10.0.1.254 which we will assign later on to the HQ firewall Ethernet 1 slash 3. So PC 1, 2, 3 and attacker gateway will be 10.0.1.254. For server 1 the gateway will be 10.0.4.254 and for server 2 10.0.5.254. Later on, we will create two sub-interfaces on HQ firewall under 1 slash 4. So that's why we will make a DMZ switch Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface as a trunk. And also we will create two VLAN, VLAN 40 and VLAN 50 and this DMZ switch. Okay, and the Active Directory IP address will be 192.168.100.230. So I mention all these details here. Let's start to configure. So we will start from PC1 and this is the IP address, subnet mask, gateway and DNS. So let's go to our lab and let me click on PC1 and let's click here. And the password is 123 Okay. And the default user is administrator. So let me log into this device. Okay, and right click here. This is window 11. Go to network and internet setting. Okay, and after that, we need to go to advanced network setting and go to more a network adapter option. You can go from any other place as well. Click on the interface and click on the properties. Uncheck IPv6 and go to IPv4 properties and type here. 10.0.1.1 and 1.1.1 is the DNS. Click OK, click close, and now the IP address is configured. Okay, next to what we need to do, let me close this one, and 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 let me close this one, go to more adapter network option i believe i need to go to firewall to disable if you want otherwise it's okay no need but in case window firewall okay they say you cannot open from here so let's right click here and go to network connection and let's go to control panel and if we can open window depender and go to turn off and it's better for test purpose in the lab so we will not face any issue and close this one so pc1 is ready with the ip address let's go to pc2 okay so these are the uh, linux lake right click on the desktop okay either you can click here it's up to you so you can click here and go to uh, okay we need to go to uh, task no network manager is here and click properties and use static ip so 10.0.1.2 255 255 255.0 and gateway is 254 and dns 8.8.8 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 and click ok and click connect and we are done let's go to pc3 right click go to network manager okay go to properties use static ip and it's 10.0.1.3 255 255 255.0 and gateway is 254 and dns 8.8.8.8 1.1.1.1 okay and click ok and click connect and we are done with these three pc configuration let's go to attacker this is kali linux 
यूजर नेम इज काली पासवर्ड इज काली एंड हेट एंटर नाउ इन दाली पी सी वट यू नीड टू डू यू कैन क्लिक हियर यू कैन गो फ्रॉम मेनी प्लेस इज एनी वे एंड गो टू सिटिंग एंड देर इज एडवांस नेटवर्क कन्फिग्रेशन क्लिक ऑन दी वायर कनेक्शन क्लिक ऑन दिस गेयर आईकन ओके एंड गो टू आई पी फोर सिटिंग चेंज दिस टू मैनअल क्लिक एड एंड टाइप दी आई पी एड्रेस सो इस पर आवर सेटिंग टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट वन डॉट ट्वेंटी ओके एंड इट विल बी ट्वेंटी फोर एंड गेट वे इज टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट वन डॉट टू फिफ्टी फोर सो दिस इज द गेट वे एंड क्लिक हियर एंड क्लिक सेव एंड क्लिक क्लोज एंड लेट्स गो टू टर्मिनल एंड वेरीफाई सो टाइप एफ कन्फिग and here we can see 10.0.1.20 and here is so let me close this one so four computer we configure next we need to configure this uh, server one okay so click on server one as i say this is tiny core click on the control panel go to network and here type the ip address so 10.0.4.1 and gateway is okay 8.8.8.1.1.1. Okay, so 10.0.4 and it's okay and click apply exit. Okay, but there is a small thing. If you go to terminal, let's verify the IP. So IP address is okay. However, when you restart this uh, tiny core, so the IP will be removed. So what you need to do for that, you need to type this command file. tool dot sh dash b so it will make them permanent and we are done so even if you restart this uh, tiny core so the ip will be still 10.0.4.1 this is the only thing you need to remember in tiny core not on these it will uh, these are okay let's go to server 2 and again we need to go to control panel and go to network and here the ip address we need to type 5.2 So the gateway is okay. A dot A dot eight one dot one dot one. Okay, and click apply exit. And from here go to terminal and apply file tool dot sh dot b to make them permanent. So these two server are done. Next we need to configure the Active Directory. Then we will come to DMZ configuration, DMZ switch configuration. So let's click on Active Directory. and again click here the password is test123 and test it is in upper case okay these are the default password okay for all these uh, devices so now server 2016 uh, what i need to do on server 2016 right click on this computer i can you can go from many places anyway open network and sharing center okay and after that what i need to do go to change adapter setting okay and click on this ethernet go to properties and the first thing is uncheck ipv6 and go to ipv4 properties and go to here 192 168 100.230 and gateway is 192.168 100.200 which we will assign to the firewall and here is 8.8.8 and second dns will be this server itself so 192.168 100.230 and we are done okay close this one close this one next we need to disable the firewall for that we can go to window here and turn window firewall so turn off turn off this one okay and click close next is better to go to local server and make sure so the host is work group okay and there is real time protection let's see is disable or enable so the real time protection is better to disable them for test purpose so you will not get any issue okay and here is so let me drag this one and click close okay next 
change their time zone so time zone we need the Riyadh okay you can set them as per your setting click ok and click ok next so window firewall is off remote management is enabled remote desktop is enabled NIC teaming we don't need the IP address we configure we change the time zone okay and what else yeah so this enhanced security is already off you need to make them off okay and window uh, update is better to change them advanced option okay there, there is a setting to change this one so it will not uh, download the updates because we don't need the uh, update right now okay otherwise it will disturb your lab that's it this few setting you need to do and we are ready this system is ready so our server is ready let's go back so we configure pc1 and turn off the firewall then the pc2 configuration pc3 configuration then the attacker configuration and after that we active directory ip configuration and firewall and other stuff then server one configuration and apply the file tool.sh to make them permanent server two and apply the file tool dot uh, shb to permanent and now coming to the last thing which is most important the dmz switch configuration okay so open this dmz switch okay later on it will uh, we will use them so let's go to switch and enable mode and after that go to config t and change the host name so the first thing we need to change the host name which will be dmz switch so i change the host name next let me create two vlan vlan 40 which is server one so let me give them srv shortcut sorry name srv1 similarly vlan 50 and give me server 2 name after that okay now we need to assign the interfaces so let's go to our lab so 0 slash 1 will be assigned to vlan 40 this is vlan 40 okay and this 0 slash 2 will be assigned to vlan 50 these two interfaces and this interface we will make them trunk so let's go to interface ethernet 0 slash 1 okay and description is connected to srv1 it's better to give them description and type here switch port mode access and switch port access vlan 40 because we create two vlan okay and no shut down okay and let me clear the screen next the interface is interface it was let's go back this one e0 slash 2 e0 slash 2 and description is if we have description previous one so description is server 2 okay and switch port mode access switch port access vlan 50 and no shut down and exit okay let me show you do show vlan brief so what we create we create vlan 40 and 50 we give them the name server 1 and server 2 and we put these interfaces assign them to vlan 40 and 50 okay next we need to make this interface which is connected to firewall as a trunk to carry the traffic for all vlan so interface e0 slash 0 and description you can type description it's better to give them description connected to hq firewall and type trunk okay so this is the description and then switch port a trunk encapsulation dot one q switch port mode trunk okay and no shutdown and we are done okay and wr to save the setting so show interface trunk so that uh, interface is trunk now and show vlan to check the vlans okay two vlans are there with these interfaces and that's it so now our devices are ready server 1 server 2 dmz switch pc1 pc2 pc3 attacker and active directory the basic ip address configuration and we are done and we verify as well